What's up, guys? This is Mando and Sokbakchi. Today's video is a guide for Vatan Phase 2. Now we're going to meet the real Vatan. It'll be a lot of fun, so enjoy it. Before going in, there are two basic terms you must know. First, choosing battle items. Out of 8 players, 1 player must take Corrosive Bomb. Another 7 players must take Destruction Bomb. Quickly decide who will throw the Corrosive Bomb. Second, Breaking Armor. When you first meet the Valtan, you can see there's two armor buffs right underneath the Valtan's health bar. Party members must break two armors to kill the Valtan in time. If you don't, it is almost impossible to clear the dungeon. Let me explain how to break those armors. When you look at the minimap, there are four pillars with blue marbles. 1 o'clock, 3, 9, and 11. Blue marbles will drop on the ground when the pillar is down. This marble will save you once later, so we need one each. Valtan stomps his feet three times and rushes toward the player. Party members should make Valtan rush toward the pillar with blue marbles. If Valtan rushes toward one of the pillars, Valtan gets stunned for a while and armors become destruction able until he jumps up to the sky. Party members must break the armor when stunned using all their bombs and skills with destruction. Valtan rushes maximum four times, so you have to break two armors in four rushes. Now let's check out main patterns. At first, head 3 o'clock and wait. At second stomp, a player with corrosive bomb should throw it. At third stomp, dodge the rush and throw destruction bombs. Also use skills that has destruction effect on it. As soon as the first armor gets broken, go to 1 o'clock. If the armor break was fast, Valtan will jump toward the player and break a wall spinning. Then go to 11 o'clock. If the armor break failed or wasn't that fast, Vatan will prepare the next rush. Do the same, but this time your destruction bomb has a cooldown, so use your destruction skills only. After the second rush, Vatan will jump up to the sky and the spear will fall right above player's head for 9 times. Don't get close to allies, it's a lot better to dodge the spears running in circle. Then go to the outer side of the map not to get a big damage. If you can't get out, use time up potion. After the explosion, everyone must gather at 9 o'clock. Do the same pattern, break the armor, and dodge the spears. 130. Immediate Death Field. Valtan raises his axe high and creates immediate death field twice. First one is avoidable, but second one isn't. You can easily dodge the first one if you wait for the pattern right next to Valtan. For second one, you can easily succeed if you have the blue marble effect. The blue marble will save you from the second death field. This is why people should eat one marble each. Blue buff gets deleted if you get hit by the first death field, so you must dodge the first one. If this is too complicated, just use Balthor. Balthor's protection will save everyone inside the circle. At 120, Valtan moves to the center and breaks all walls. From now on, counterattack is able. 110. Dangerous Pizza. Four rocks are spawned and Valtan prepares a pizza toward one random player. Red pizza will follow a player and suddenly no longer follow. Then the player must quickly get out of the red zone and use times up potion to survive. Other members should hide behind rocks which are away from the red zone. Right after the first pizza, Valtan will prepare another pizza but this time you don't need to hide. One should dribble the pizza and others should use all their skills on Valtan. 88. Land claps and small pizza. If Valtan's HP gets below 88, a guide note tells you that there will be a land collapse. Valtan jumps up to the sky and randomly destroys the right or left side of the map. Watch which side of the map will be collapsed in the middle and move. After destroying the map, Valtan spins toward the middle and spawns 4 small rocks. Players should hide behind rocks to avoid the roar. Right after the roar, Valtan prepares a small pizza toward one random player. Just like one did in 110, get out of the red zone as soon as the pizza stops following. Other members don't need to hide behind small rocks. Just avoid the pizza and exploding rocks. 65. Invisible Counterattack Valtan jumps up to the sky and lands at the center. He stomps once to create an explosion underneath all members. Gather and dodge the explosion. Now get ready for the invisible counterattack. After the cutscene, 
Faltan suddenly rushes forward and grabs all players at front. This attack can be countered, but counter motion doesn't come out. All eight members must get in front of the Faltan and use their counter skills to successfully counterattack the pattern. The timing is around two seconds. One, two, now. 30. Land collapse and small pizza. Same with what happened in 88. This time, the other side of the map will get destroyed, dodge the roar, dribble the pizza, and dodge both pizza and exploding rocks. Now on, you should concentrate more because you can fall from the stage. 16. Balthor. This is the last main pattern before moving on to Ghost Mode Valton. Every attack Valton does at 16 will make you fall off the map, so be careful. At 16, Valton goes inside the portal and appear again, striking 6 o'clock. Next, Valton strikes in 4 directions. Valton does not hit the same direction, so dodge the first one and use Balthor to get a protection. After the strike, Valton smashes the ground with this hand several times to create an exploding field below players. Survivors should dodge explosions together or use Time Stop Potion right next to Valton to easily overcome the pattern. After the explosion, Three rocks are spawned and Valton prepares a roar. Survivors can go and wait at the direction the rock didn't appear because roar cannot knock players out as they have Balthor's protection. You survived? Valton's last phase is about to start. From now on, Ghost Mode Valton is on. Ghost Mode Valton has total of 40 health bar and has decreased damage intake buff. 4 stacks for a normal Valton, 6 stacks for hard Valton. Doing several basic patterns, Valton summons clones that can be countered. Person who countered the clone's attack gets one purification stack that can delete one Valton's buff. Counterattacking the clone's attack also fills the Aster's skill bar, so survivors should take turns to counterattack. If stacks are all gone, use Thyrain, which deletes 10 health bars from Valton. However, if you fail to counterattack the clone, the clone smashes the ground in cross shape. This can make people fall. So focus on the counter attacks. In ghost mode, there's one main pattern that can 100% make you fall. Grab and roar. At 39, 27, and 14, Valton grabs people in large sector form and spit a roar to make players fall. You must dodge this pattern. Also, watch out for rushing clones at the edge of the map. Now let's look at important patterns. Three counter attacks. Valton raises his hand high and slowly smashes the ground for three times. Party members should decide three players who will counterattack the pattern in order. Other players should gather far away from Valton. The player who successfully countered the attack will have a silence field around, so get away from other players. Eating marbles. Valton summons four marbles at 3, 6, 9, and 12 o'clock and prepares for a rush. Tank classes with supporters should eat one marble leech as it increases the damage intake for a while. Other players should counterattack the rush. If some marbles are left, it gives everyone increased damage intake debuff for a while with a bit of damage. It's not a mandatory thing to eat all four, so it's okay if you don't eat marbles which are placed in dangerous positions. Stagger. A shield is created around Valton. Players should attack the shield to break. Then they must stagger the boss to survive. Instant grab. Valton put his hand up front and immediately rushes forward. He grabs all players in front of him and roars at large area. Don't get caught by the boss. Land explosion in order. Valton spins at his place and shows the order of land explosion. Dodge the explosion and counterattack the boss. Now let me go over the basic patterns. Rush. Valton stomps twice and rushes forward. Counter able. Reflect. If you stagger the boss, Valton reflects the attack and knocks everyone out. Don't use skills and stay right below his hand. Spin. Valton spins at its position. Two hand smash. Valton smashes the ground with his hands. Inside explodes first and outside explodes. It's easier to dodge if you're at the back. 
portals. Vatan disappears into the portal and instantly rushes several times. Try not to fall. Time Stop Potion can help you easily survive this pattern. Front Back Front Valtan attacks the front, then back, then front again. X Combo Valtan quickly attacks front three times and attacks in circle. Try not to get hit by exploding field. It's safe right next to the boss. Jumping Attack Valtan jumps and attacks random direction. Second hit will follow if no one was hit by the first one. Cross. Valtan smashes the ground and gives damage to players in cross shape. When Valtan jumps and do cross pattern, spinning can come out right after. Safe right next to the boss. Four strikes. The boss attacks one random player for four times. Until the third attack, X follows the player. Party members can be in danger if you dribble the strikes to them. Dodging Spears Vatan jumps up to the sky, throws three spears and lands right above random player. Dodge the spears and go near where Vatan landed as outside explodes. Imprison Vatan randomly make three players imprisoned and others should help them. If someone's still imprisoned after the roar, it gives big damage to all players. This is pretty much it for real Valtan. Thank you for watching this video, and please leave a chat if you have any kind of questions.